Hey loves, let's jump right into it. So the first thing you wanna do when it comes to customizing your lace frontal is securing it down on a mannequin head. I got my mannequin head from Amazon. I'll have the link below. Um, second thing you wanna do is go ahead and pin the frontal down on your mannequin head. Do it all the way around the wig or the frontal. Um, you can use how many pins you want, totally up to you. This wig is from Rosa Queen Hair. Now we're gonna focus on the hairline. And as you can see, the hairline, it's okay. It is a pre-plucked wig, but we wanna pluck it a little bit more so it has a natural hairline. Go ahead and mist the hair very lightly with water so you can get um, all those flyaways out the way. I highly suggest a good pair of tweezers. It makes a huge difference in the process of plucking your hairline. Also, it's very important to work in sections to prevent bald spots. It is very easy to overplug, especially if you have a pair of good tweezers. Um, but in the process of plucking, make sure you are combing the hairline back just to make sure you're not plucking too much in one area. If you need to wet the hair um, to get a better viewing of the hairline, definitely go ahead and do so. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this, but right there is a actual comb um, in the wig, which is preventing me from getting to that section of the hairline. So that's really not a big problem. When it comes to the front of the hairline, I like to take my tweezers and go in a upward motion, um, just because it looks more natural to me going that way. And this mannequin head is about to get on my nerves because it keeps sliding back. So this is what one side looks like when it has been completely tweezed, and this is what the other side looks like when it has not been touched at all. So I'm gonna put the mannequin head back in my lap because it is not doing right on the mannequin stand. And I'm just going to continue to pluck around the hairline following the dips in the lace. Remember to check your work just to make sure you don't have any ball spots or you're tweezing too much in one spot, guys. Oh, and FYI, guys, this is a long process or it can be a long process. So take your time with it. Um, if you feel like you've been plucking for hours and the hairline is still thick, go ahead and section out some baby hairs and start plucking behind the baby hairs that you sectioned out and you'll be able to see you know, what difference it has made. So this is the hairline completely done. And this is how much hair I have plucked out of the hairline. It came plucked pretty good, but I just needed to pluck it a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the hair up in a ponytail. Now what I like to use to help with those flyaways is some sort of mousse. Um, I forgot the name of the one I'm using, but I'm using mousse and water and it helps like really good. It helps lay the hair down. Um, it's easier to manage. I just like it. So I'm just going to put the hair in a ponytail. And as you can see, that frontal looks really, really good. Not too thin, not too thick. And the bleaching on this is wonderful. I have a bleaching tutorial. If you guys want to check it out, it'll be below in the description bar. Um, and I'm just adding some mousse to the back and I'm just about to put it in a ponytail. Okay, so this is the slick down bun. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace and I'm just gonna follow the dips in the lace and this is what it looks like after letting the wig sit overnight. <laughs> it looks weird, yes, I know, but I love to um, mold my wigs and let it sit. It just makes the lace stiff so you can easily apply it. So let's check out the parting space on this wig. So you pretty much can part anywhere on this wig and you're gonna get nothing but lace. That is a really nice feature to a full lace wig, is getting that illusion of a scalp everywhere no matter where you part it. And I'm just gonna part my hair straight down the middle into the back, and as you can see, nothing but lace. And if you have some baby hairs on fleek, I guarantee you they will stay when you apply the frontal on your head. I just hate doing baby hairs on my head because I feel like the glue is just too tacky. It just doesn't just doesn't look right. So 
this is pretty much how the frontal looks when I put it on. It looks really, really good. Um, I have not glued it down. I'm not going to glue it down. I'm going to add an elastic band. Um, I do need to add a little bit of foundation powder on the lace to kind of tint it a little bit. But girl, this wig is everything. This is pretty much how I um, pluck and customize my frontal. I hope this video was easy for you guys and um, it gave a better understanding on how to customize your frontal. If you are interested in purchasing this wig from Rosa Queen Hair, I will have the purchasing information below. If you are interested in seeing how to bleach your frontal, I'll have that link below as well as how to put baby hairs on the fleek. Thanks for watching, loves. Mwah.